Hey everybody, this is your old pal Uncle Al, and I'm supporting the unions in France. Don't let Macron screw you with uh, the carbon tax. And I can't see worth a damn with this thing on, so. Anyway, viva la France, viva la retirement funds, viva everybody, screw the green tax and screw Macron. Okay? You have, we have Donald Trump, you have McCone. <laughs> Want to trade? Now I think James of Harshman Hill says that's a big knife. That's a pig sticker. This is my pig sticker right here. Okay, James, that's my pig sticker. And yes, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Steve. Yeah, Steve is somebody came with at me with machete. I think I'm on pretty good standing and we could trade blows to each other. But I'm kind of getting old and most of the time I use this is in my collection. I hardly ever carry it and if I do it'll be a small on my back. But like I said, yeah, I have the reach. But that's my pig sticker, kids. And yes, I use a serrated edge. I don't like people. And if I make cuts, I'm going to make sure it's a cut that can't sew up. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, the bolt bag. If you see Gil, Gil's, Gil's channel is Camp, Pat, Camp Patton Family Compound. Great channel. Please check them out. Always good information. Now, Uncle Alan's getting old and getting tired and a little ditzy in the head. And I got to put out all this stuff. I learned this stuff, I think it was in the 90s, either at Homestead or Quantico. I'm not too sure. I have one of the books from Quantico. Uh, Mobility of a Nation and a Soldier's Load. Still can't remember where I got it from, but I'll figure it out. And then uh, we're talking about main component of the bolt bag, which is basic operations of a limited time. I think that was the title. That's uh, Mule Spec or Spec Ops Talk and that was a long time ago and this is like in the early 90s right after the 80s so Uncle Han's brain's a little bit blah, 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 blah. so I would do your research and double check. They should be like Gil said three bags. Go home bag, a, a bug out bag, I forgot what the heck he was talking about the third. You go check out his channel. Uh, when I was trained, we... Uh, was he trained? Yeah, I get frustrated. I can't remember stuff. All I remember is I got another sheet of uh, what you call seasoned home fries I'm cooking right now in the oven because I don't want to use the fryer and I know how to make home fries. Very tasty. Uh... Still having a little trouble with this side of the face, if you kind of notice. That's why I'm kind of tilted one way or the other. Um, now, oh yeah, we're talking about bags. Now, basic bag is uh, like a collapsible knapsack, which is nice, or day bag, or you could go with one of these things that Uncle Alan has in the background. Let's go. Now for my bolt bag, Uncle Alan likes to go in style. And if I have to bolt out of a certain area, I like to go with a, with a shoulder strap, one of these uh, AWOL bags or a little carry-on bag. Looks really cute. And two, nobody thinks you're an active terrorist. If you're carrying one of these, they think you're a tourist. And this is my old travel day bag. You know, carry stuff, smile. Hi, I am a stupid American or Canadian tourist. Do not kill me. Okay, that's one. This I found in the garbage. It's for a lawn chair. Three bag. Fairly long. Has a top. I can fix that one and put more Velcro on it. 
but it makes a pretty good go back. Fits it over my shoulder and presto, I'm out of here. Or presto with the bolt bag. Free. See? Uncle Alan do dumpster die. So when you throw away good stuff that I can repurpose, reuse, replant. Also it makes an impromptu uh, carrying case too. Or you know what kind of objects. But uh And this beat up old thing is my old war horse. Uh, that's when, before I took the class, I thought this would be a perfect bolt bag. Okay, it's small, has a shoulder strap. I carry it all with me, has two compartments, has a pocket, has pens and everything. Originally it was a map case, uh, but over the years it's beaten up and I changed straps. Man, was it beaten up. <laughs> Used to be green. And then finally, let's see what I got. What the hell is that? Uh, I got my old duffel bag. Okay. Usually I use this for my bug out bag. You can see how the printing and everything and how old this thing is. And I think that was in the 70s. I think my last president was Carter, but I found it's not too clear. I can't remember bits and pieces of that time. Um, I had a friend of mine made me this bag because I got tired of using pillowcases and rope. You know, uh, you can make a knapsack with a pillowcase, some rope like this, but Uncle Alan got smart. I asked a friend of mine to make this out of, uh, what the hell? That's his company. Okay. Very nice company. I think they do for a hotel chain too, but, uh, uh, basically, it's a soup bag, okay, it's linen, very strong linen, almost canvas-like, has a pocket, and the reason why is, it was designed for suits, but has dual purpose for Uncle Alan's reason, and he thought it was nuts, and he said, oh, keep the idea, don't worry, once you put your suit in there, you don't use a suit, this forms a handle, you put your bolt bag stuff in there you slip this part instead of plastic or vinyl or leather or whatever crap you have a lightweight carry-on that looks like a suit bag nobody think you're an enemy agent or anything slips right in okay you put spare clothes, food, everything, and commentable eyes. And if you fold it up one more time, okay, I forget how to do this. It's been like 30 years or 25 years plus. So I'm gonna forget a lot of stuff. So anyway, you fold this up and you got your gear in here. You use the rope to make it into a knapsack. And I forgot how to do that, so I got to remember how to do that. But if you're going on a plane, take off the rope, put it in the bag, you go through customs. Oh, I'm just Uncle Al. I'm just a tourist. I got my suits in here. They'll search the bag. Uh, I have one suit and a bunch of uh, stuff. Is that all right? And they'll look at uh, $25 extra bag of tree, Uncle Al. There you go. Thank you very much. And then I'm on the plane, I'm out of wherever I have to go. So that's about 10 minutes, kids. I think I remembered all the stuff from the bags. It's either a messenger bag or a collapsible um, backpacky thing. I think that's about it. I do have a black bag, but I can't remember where I put it. And then I always have rope. So that covers that. I'll catch you later.
Oh, damn thing's still on. <laughs>